Hello healers! Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. As you can see today we are doing a little bit of a different video. I just want to show you how do I normally choose my cards and crystals for pick a cards or tarot readings if you're interested on that. It's just a little bit of a mess at the end of the videos for sure, full of cards and crystals everywhere, but it, I'm really happy about it and really grateful that I have you here with me. So if you're curious about what is the process how do I really choose here it is all right so I obviously have more cards than these I just can't put all of them here and the crystals as well it's just to show you a little bit but if I'm doing a pick a card I normally would think you know those would be my oracle cards and the tarot cards I like to mix them many times as you can see on the pick a card videos Unless it's a specific tarot reading, I do only the tarot cards and still I normally have a pick a pile anyway. And if it's a tarot reading, I will just leave the piles there. I normally shuffle them and I pray before the videos. So if it's something that it's about love, for example, I will take the cards each, each pile, let's say for the tarot, and I will shuffle them ask the higher powers the above to help me out during the reading and only love and light come all any negativity to go away regarding what i can say and help out regarding love so i, I say the specific reason for the video and i shuffle them and i don't look i just leave them down and i shuffle each each of the piles you know the same way thinking about the reason for the video and i will shuffle and then just random land, run just choose them with you after because normally with the tarot readings even though i shuffle them before i will shuffle a little bit more and then choose the cards straight away while on the the video live with you as you you have seen in other videos but i pray before i pray after you know as well but i make sure i pray we do sh shuffle before and during the video okay so obviously i will not look at them i will only see them together with you the higher powers are choosing them for you in any case for the oracle cards when i mix them if it let's see the let's say it's a pick a card and it will be a mix of oracle cards and tarot cards i will do the same i will shuffle them and choose the higher powers to help me out you know, with the answers regarding love, regarding your career or something you need to release, whatever may be the reason, I will be just shuffling and asking the high powers. In that case, I will choose, right? I will I will make sure I choose some of them. So I just have a feeling of the card. Sometimes it's the top, sometimes it's mix anything. So if it's, let's say, uh, three piles right i will just make sure it's a it's a mix i will not choose them myself i'll just leave the higher powers to choose them for you so let's say i choose this one and then randomly choose this you know the other ones or even the last one maybe i feel like i need more than one card from this pile then i will keep choosing and Again, from anywhere that I feel like, or feel like this card here, for example, is coming out. I feel like this is the one, or I feel like this is the one. I will choose the ones that are coming out, and I leave. I go to the next, the next pile of, you know, tarot cards. Mix them again. Think again about the reason that we are uh, doing the video, and choose again. If I feel like it's one card, the two cards, three cards, I'll just go with the feeling that I have. Again, let's say I choose one for each from the top. Maybe I feel like it's not from the top at all. One from here, one from here. And again, it could be one that is coming out. And then if I have the tarot cards to add on, I will, same reason, same way. I'll think about what is going on, what is the video about, ask the higher powers and choose that safe is just two cards for each i needed to move around and have a feeling where are they supposed to to go so sometimes i i really mix them and i just go with the feeling with the feeling and sometimes i take 
two, three, four, it really depends. But then I, f I stop when I feel like sometimes I take only two or three types of uh, different cards or tarot cards and uh, two different oracles, three different oracles. I really go with the feeling. Sometimes it's just one card of one um, deck and three cards from another one. I just go with the feeling. I make sure I don't choose them and I don't like to look at them as well. When you see them at the end, it's because we are seeing them together. All right, that's how I normally go. And the, with the, regarding the crystals, which are normally, I like to use some crystals. You know what? I like my amethyst crystals. They are normally here. I have used them a few times during different videos. It's really about uh, the feeling that I have. Many times I'm drawn to the amethyst crystals and I use them, but if not, I will just go with my feeling. I like the pyramids, so I have, you know, different ones and uh, more coming. And I just go with the feeling. Sometimes the other day I felt like I needed more crystals because I have different sizes. I put the big ones and you have that video already out there. For you with uh, not just one crystal but few and if i feel like one day there's no need for any crystals i wouldn't but i like to have something different in each pile because normally the top of the cards are the same right so if we have like this one on the top they will all look the same or let's say like this so it's always good to have something to to call your attention to the higher powers to talk to you regarding which pile is your one so they can look very similar if there is nothing you know to differentiate them so that's why the crystals are, are nice they are not like a necessity but I it's the feeling like I said I always go with the feeling with my gut feeling what sh should it be what do I get drawn to and I'm always buying new crystals and new cards all like all the time or getting them as a gift so I will always be mixing up different things because I go with the feeling. And if I have a feeling to use the same one all the time for a, for a period of time, I will do as well. I just always like to have crystals in the side here, like the, my big uh, selenite crystals. And I always like to have this here, which is also a crystal at the end here. But I like to have uh, small crystals and always a candle. I, for some reason, always want to have a candle on when I do the readings it's just the feeling I have and I like to have that to bring some light that's how I feel it works <laughs> anyway so I don't know if, the, if it's anything of interest uh, for you at all regarding this but normally that's how, how I do and I feel good about it I guarantee you it's a mess at the end I have cards and crystals everywhere but funny enough this is what I like to do at the end I'm really happy about organizing the cards and putting them in each pile because normally if it's a bigger pile most of the time I'll have at least three different um, you know, decks mix sometimes more so I like to put them in order you know at the end of uh, recording everything I love to organize the cards and touch the cards all over again and I try to take away any energy from them I do have uh, my own way like I have my ways of knocking out the energy of them and then I I can use uh, my crystals and clear the cl crystals as well with uh, some incense I like to take the energy of that specific reading from them that's that's just how I go anyway because I I feel like each one is individual in each reading each um, you know video is different so I like to take the energy of anything that, not that uh, something bad is happening or anything like that but just in a way that uh, we we were talking about the career for example so that goes away that completely from the cards and then if you're talking about love then with the love uh, messages can come in and we can take it away again and bring another one next just this this is just my feeling this is just how i do right there's nothing right or wrong about not doing that i like i say i go with the feelings most of the time or i'd say all the time really and uh, the crystals i normally i 
I just go again, I touch the crystal, I hold, I think about it, the video, and if it's something specific like the, the angels, uh, messages from the angels I like to have the angels around like the small angels here I know those ones are tiny I have <laughs> different sizes I le just love those ones really really tiny ones and um, but I like to have angels around you know I have other here you know like those angels here lovely beautiful angels that I have I had them for a while so sometimes I feel like having those ones. I do have some bigger crystals like selenite crystals and you know, all uh, towels like this, but it really depends on the feeling. And uh, if I need, if I feel like they should come and stay in a side here with me, they will. But in the in the video, otherwise they are around me anyway to help me out and bring some, you know, good vibes and good feelings. But normally with the crystals, I just Again, I touch them. I feel like I normally with the crystals, I rarely have to think too much. I have a feeling straight away which one will be, and I choose them. And I just uh, I try to think about which one will go in each pile as well. I I make sure that I feel like this is for pile number one, this is for pile number two, because I'm thinking how you're gonna choose. I'm thinking about you choosing, looking at them, and making your choice. So I want to make sure when you choose this one this goes together with these cards so i i always ask for direction from the higher powers to make sure i'm choosing the right crystal to the right pile as well maybe it's not a big deal it's just how i do because i want to make sure you get the right message you know to you so i really this is just a quick video i don't know if you're interested at all i just really to let you know how I do it and like I say there's gonna be a mess at the end of my videos full of cards and crystals everywhere but that's what I like it I really like to put them in order at the end it's just uh, something it's fun for me so it's not a big deal if it's messy because I like the after math you know with uh, putting everything in order okay I hope this was interested for you interesting in, in some way and if you like it let me know leave me a comment I would be really happy if you have any other questions, you know, to answer them. Let me know. And I'm really happy you're here with me. Thanks again for watching. Have a lovely, blessed and healing day. Bye-bye.